What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here. All right, Zack Snyder talking about Batman vs. Superman a little bit more. This time, talking about a Mr. Christopher Nolan and approaching him to get his blessing to incorporate Batman into this Superman world. He felt like he needed it. I mean, um, Christopher Nolan was like an executive producer, or he was a producer of Man of Steel, so that was great. Everybody loved seeing the Christopher Nolan name attached to another DC project. But then, of course, when it came to Batman coming out, coming into the picture of Batman vs. Superman, there was a lot of theories out there that the Nolan Batman, like Christian Bale, was going to reprise it. It was so stupid. Anyways, first thing down below, too, if you want to read all the quotes. I'm going to read them right here, though, but just in case you want to hear my annoying voice. Anyways, so he says, uh, he walks up to Nolan, and he goes, You tell me if you don't want me to do it. Well, we don't own these characters. This is what Nolan said. Well, we don't own these characters. When you're done making Batman movies, someone else will. As in, someone else will take over and make Batman films, which, obviously, uh, standalone Batman movies, possibly be an Affleck. Anyways, and then uh, Snyder says, I think he found it a little bit hard. I would feel the same way. In a lot of ways, Batman vs. Superman is a very personal concept. It is just two people trying to understand each other's point of view. So there you go. So it's like, eh, it's like passing the torch down, of course, and you're a little reluctant, especially when you've spent a decade with the character. No one spent a decade, or nearly a decade, with that character, and he really grounded that character. We saw a version of Batman that we've never seen before, and to have to have Snyder take over the rankings of it and then just ask him to get his blessings, of course it wasn't going to be like, yeah, go for it, man, you're good. Oh man, it's near and dear to his heart a little bit. So there you go. Nothing, nothing too bad. I mean, he's still okay with it. I'm sure. I'm sure he's gonna be all right with the final product when he sees it. I actually can't wait to hear what Nolan says about Batman vs Superman when he sees it. Anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts about this down below in the balls area. Talk to you later. And thank you for watching, you beautiful people. You go ahead and hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel too. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos.